Assalamu alaikum my dear students Today also we have unit 2 A review for unit 2 But right now our, uh, in this lecture we have 2.2 grammar Grammar here about nouns About the noun number The noun number There are two numbers Singular and plural where in English language it is this like Arabic language we have three singular dual and plural but in English we have only singular and plural the plural is formed by adding first one or a by adding s to the singular example like boy boys boy boys this is s so this is singular and this is plural. Okay, this is one. Second one, we have by adding ES, by adding ES for the word ends in the splint or O. Splint here, it means hissing sound like SH, S, CH. Okay? For example, like char church, churches, brush, brushes, boats, boxes, etc. But, and all like potato, potatoes, potato, potatoes. And here we have not. For foreign words, what does it mean, foreign word? What does it mean, foreign words? It means the origin of this word is not English. The origin of this word is not English. It means Italian, French, or whatever, Russian, or whatever. Ending in O, add ES only. Like piano, this is not English origin. Piano, pianos, S only. C, word ends in Y. But this Y precedes or before Y, what consonant sound? Consonant sound or consonant letter. Consonant letter. This Y change to I E S. So we will put Y change to I and then we put E S. Like what? Like lady ladies. Fly as a noun here. Fly as a noun, not as a verb. Fly flies. D word in F. Ends in F or F E. Change to V E S, V E S F. Change to V with and add E S. Like leaf leaves, wife wives. Okay. But these words is exceptions. Also, we have not words end in double O F or I E F or R F or double F. Takes what S. This word takes S, not V E S. Put in your mind these things. Please keep it in your mind. Like what? Like roofs. Like chiefs. Okay? But thieves, C I E F, this is exception. This word, exception. Okay. E, some words from the plural by form the plural it means make the plural by vowel change vowel change we have to underline this vowel change it means in vowel or in the middle of the word like man man see this is vowel this is vowel tooth teeth okay food feet women 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 a e so this is singular and this is plural this is singular and this is plural okay f this is uh, the numbers of how to change singular to the plural three words only three words take e n or r e n E N or R E N 
to change from singular to the plural, like what? Orts, orts in en, child, children are en, three words only. Brother, here in this case, we have two types of plural or traits like brothers or brethren, like children. Understood? This, it is easy. Brother, brothers, this is one plural and brethren, this is second one. G, some words do not change from singular to the plural. No change. The same one, like sheep, deer, fish. Okay? The same one. We don't use S or AS in these words. The last one, H. Words of foreign origin. Foreign origin we have to underline. Sometimes retain foreign plurals. It means it, these words take what? Foreign plurals. Not like English. Like crisis, crisis is. Datum, data. See, this is singular. This is plural. And phenomenon, phenomena. Phenomenon, singular. Phenomena, plural. Okay? These, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points to change singular to, in, to the plural English language. As a noun, we use S with nouns to change it from singular to plural. We have not here. In compound words, in compound words. In this case, to change the to change a noun from singular to plural, we have to put the sign of the plural is generally add to the what principal word, principal word, the main words, the main words in compound words, like what at fathers in law. See, this is fathers in law. Lotters. On. This is the principal words. These are principal words. These are principal words. This one. Second one. Some nouns have two plurals. Two kinds of plurals. Like brother, as we told you. Brother. Brothers or brethren. Okay? Like what? Index. Indexes or indices. Okay, another one, another note. Some nouns have no plural. Some nouns have no plural. Like what? Information, no plural. Advice, knowledge, furniture, progress. There is no plural in these nouns. The opposite, some nouns have no singular. Some nouns have no singular, like what? Like scissors, like trousers, canvases, okay, clothes, and etc. There is no singular in these nouns. Okay, understood these notes? Another grammar topic in Unit 2 is case. Case in English. What does it mean case? What does it mean case? Case is the relation in which a noun stands to some other word. To some other word. In modern English, there are three cases. We have three cases. Nominative, objective, and objective accusative for direct object. And dative for indirect object. Also, we have the third one, possessive. Possessive. So, we have cases in English, nominative, objective, and possessive. Let us see. Nominative case is used where? 
First one, when the word, first one, when the word is the subject of the sentence. Subject of the sentence. Right? The boy did the works here. The boy is the, is in the nominative case. The boy here, subject, because it is the subject. After the verb to be. Verb to be, I told you in the first lecture in this year, verb to be we have is, am, um, are, was, were, be, being, and been. So after verb to be, if the nominative case had been used before verb, like what? It was he who spoke. It was he who spoke. He, after the verb to be, so here he is the nominative case which was why after the verb was also we have the objective case is used the objective case is used when the word is in the object object we have studied object object comes after the main verb main verb and transitive verb after transitive verb object like we saw him so here him is the what objective case when noun or pronoun is governed by preposition like I sent the book to him preposition this is a propos preposition so here him the objective case why because of the preposition to Preposition to. Here we will talk about the transitive verbs. Uh, I told you when we have studied verb, transitive verbs occasionally take two objects. Some of verbs in English language takes two objects. Okay, like what? I taught him English. I taught him. This is taught from teach. I teach you English. Taught. Teach taught. Taught him English. This is one object and this is two object. The word not in the person, him. This is the person. Is the indirect object. Indirect object. So indirect object, what is dative? Indirect object, dative. We will study these things uh, later on. Indirect object, person is indirect object. The one denoting the thing is what is the direct object. Is the direct object thing like English. What it is the direct object. So indirect object. Indirect object it means the person place first. The position is the first. If the direct object is placed first, the direct object Place first. The indirect object is preceded by preposition. So we have to put what? Preposition. Okay, like I taught English to him. I taught English to him. This is indirect object, person. And this is what? Direct object. So it is what? Because it to preposition. So this is will be indirect direct object will be first and in and him will be indirect object it will be the second why because of what the preposition because of the preposition okay the last one we have what the possessive case possessive case is used to denote the possessor or own own owner okay it is formed by adding apostrophe s dash comma and s to singular nouns and to the plural nouns which do not end in what in s which do not end with s like the boy's bag the boy's bag this is possessive it means this bag belong to this boy or the man's word and adding apostrophe only to the plurals that do 
and in S apostrophe only trauma it means the boys stroll or the boys stroll the ladies dresses the ladies here trauma dresses okay I hope you understand these things it is easy but you have to read it and you have to study well okay thank you